In this video, we'll show how to add automatic reactions. I've started with the scene from the previous video, and I've added a deed reaction events component to each character. When a character witnesses a deed, this component invokes events based on the character's resulting pleasure value. I've added entries for negative, neutral, and positive pleasure. Each event plays an animation that indicates the character's emotional state. This is what it looks like. If we pause and inspect a character, we can see its state, including relationships and pad. You can also add a stabilized pad component if you want a character's emotional state to return to a certain value such as neutral over time. Two components similar to deed reaction events are greeting trigger and gossip trigger. Greeting trigger checks affinities when one character enters the trigger collider of another character. For example, if the player enters a knight's greeting trigger area and the knight likes the player, the knight could salute or wave. The other component is the Gossip Trigger. When a character enters the trigger collider of another character, and if the characters like each other, that is, they have positive affinity to each other, the Gossip Trigger allows them to share their memories of past deeds. This way, information about deeds can spread organically through a population. The potency of this gossip decays the further it goes along the telephone chain, based on how much characters trust each other and how well or poorly the deed aligns with the listener's personality. There are also corresponding script events that you can use in your own scripts that cover these events and more. The list of events are covered in the manual. In the next video, we'll cover auras, which are areas of the scene that can affect a character's pad values.